All right, YouTube, what's going on? This is your boy, like one half and duo, and basically, this um, this is a shout out to a friend, and this is just a simple video. I am gonna show another video, of course, behind it, and this will be some behind scenes video of doing this stuff. But even though I am a Nintendo fan, as you can see, my Nintendo Switch docks back there, and I have multiple consoles, of course, but. Well, it is what it is. I mean, like I said, PC, I've talked before, PC has its its good sides too. Every, and I could tell you from experience, every PC to consoles have their own, not have their, their negatives and faults. But I have my rig and it's going, so I, I decided to help a person build something to help them and give them something good. So basically have, basically going to do a PC with, um... I'll show you a little, in a little while, but basically I'm going to do a, a Ryzen 5 2600 XPC and use, you know, graphics card, and I'll put it out of the box and get more exp explanation, of course, but with Amazon, and look with Amazon, this is about a 700, um, 750 built for all this stuff should do way more than enough to what he needs so i'll basically go through each of these piece uh, piece by piece so again i don't have a fancy tripod and other stuff this is me so i'll just do a couple unboxings and show what i have and what's going to go in this build all right we're using basically the x70 aurora's of the gaming uh, like I said, we're using basically a Ryzen 5, of course, 600. So, that'll be a motherboard I'll be using. And the reason I went with this because if you use the um, M.2 drive and put in uh, M.2 uh, Meave drive, which will be faster, cut down, faster hard drive in there, which I'll show that for Western Digital. Um, price for this at now, because price fluxes, it's 139 I got this for 120 so that's that's the mainstay I like like I said I went because of that uh, like I said, that and also the thermal stuff right there I like the IO shield is padded as well too because basically what I want to use for this case of course is to um, you know to be powerful but silent as best as I can and you'll see what I'm talking about of course, this will be the main, as you can see, a Western Digital uh, M. That nav drive. Got it for about 150. Normally, it's like 200, uh, $200. But this will be the main drive, 500 gigabytes. That will go on that board very, very well and keep the speed going. I was, this is the first time I'm using this, so I would love to see how fast this thing really. I mean, I know that the writing speed is in a thousand. I've seen the specs, but for the first time using this, so I'd like to see what's going on with this. And of course, we have some, um, oops, let me see right here, Arctic Silent Fans, because I'm going to basically use these as exhaust fans. And uh, one thing I'll say to these, because I've seen a lot of reviews, and not all bad, it, it, a lot of reviews got this really high, but I was double checking it, and when, if you ever get these, make sure that these things are not wobbling. But I like, um, like I said, these right here should be helped to exhaust the fans. Uh, I got two of them, of course. So they'll be using my top exhaust. I know people, some people would like to put a rat up top and a rat in front. But because of the case, I'm going to go a different way. And again, you could do it any That's uh, I give it to PC. You could do it any way you want. So, but you spin them, make sure that they're not wobbly and they, and they are even. And that's why I just, they're just like, that's why it's out of the box. Like I said, I got two of these with me, my top mount exhaust fans. Because on my, on my rig that I have, I have one, which does the job well. The place this is going to be is in a really hot spot. So I'm trying to make sure I get a lot of the heat away as best as I can. Of course, of course we have the Ryzen, second generation Ryzen 2600X. Cost piece of reason stop, so that would be the CPU that I'm going with. And like I said, if it wasn't, I'll maybe use the stock if it wasn't going to a place where it is hot, but I'm gonna use something different, which I'll show you now. So, of course, I'm gonna be using for my for the CPU will be the Corsair 
um, A60, the new 2018 reversion. And I like that it has a little light up here to accent off, of course, for the um, to do what I gotta do with the CPU. So like I said, this is 2018 version. So this is what I use to cool off the CP and just to radiate it from the back. Um, over here, I'm gonna use this power style. I use LSP Ultra. I've, like I said, I've used these. Like I said, every, the thing about these, some of these power stores, the thing about pieces, like I said, everybody has, the people say, you know, you have, you know, your fanboys and stuff, and you do. I've never had a problem with these um, um, these power supplies, so these always has worked very well for me, of course. 650 is more than enough to do what I need to do with it. That will be my power uh, PSU. Let me see what else we have. Oh, you. All right, here we got a graphics card. This is a um, ASUS Dual RX 580. Of course, has its um, HDMI and um, display ports. And according to this, and this is the overclock edition, so it's all ready to go for you know, for gaming and everything if we need it, or for rendering stuff if I need, because we can do some 4K stuff just to test stuff out. According to it, it says that you don't even need a power supply to run it, to run run this card. It could run off of the motherboard, which we do have the powerful power supply for that, but. If it does, it does. I don't. If not, we have enough connectors to make this sucker work. Like the best way to keep it cool is what I want to do. So, if I can make it cool and and quiet and efficient, we'll see what's going to go on. But this is the graphic card we're going to put in there. For the memory, we're going to be using, of course, GDF or of course, 16 gigabytes of. Um, 300 megahertz. If we're gonna do it, we'll do the fastest um, with Vengeance Corsair's Vengeance um, LPX. So we're gonna be using this. I think this should be more than enough to do what um, what the computer needs to do. And again, I'm using the fast, the use fast. Maybe I might overclock it. I don't know, but we'll see what we can do with it. But and again, with this, at least the person can go up to 32 gigabytes if they need to with the motherboard. I mean, the motherboard supports up to 64 gigs, so it's up to them what they want to do with it. But it's ready for upgrade if it needs. And this is our memory we're going to use for the for the build. This is the case I'm using. It's the Fantex um, Eclipse 400 Tempered Glass Edition, Silent Tempered Glass Edition. So. This is what it looks like. I like it because it was just, I like the sleek front. Uh, basically, uh, and also the person's scheme, the favorite color is red. So of course I have, it's red inside. I like the glass. Because we could do something custom with it later on maybe. Comes with of course, a fan, exhaust, exhaust fan, two 120 meter uh, fan and intake fan. I like the, also has the, which I'll say has the dust covers up here if you're going to use the exhaust, which I am. I like that it comes with the, the reason it's called silent because it has sound deadening material inside it. So it keeps, you know, help with the silent. That's why I bought those particular fans, those silent fans as you heard. And using the, eight, you know, everything I can to still be powerful but exhaust enough air that it doesn't, you know, doesn't make a lot of noise does not make a lot of noise so let me see here so like I said it has let me twist this around for a second all right there we go so the accents is the accents red of course because I wanted the person to the light red so he has is red you have your fan speed button you have your lights because it's coming uh, RGB sub which has this light uh, also the little box inside of course a power button tactile you know that it's on uh, of course because of the motherboard it uses um, gen 3 I mean gen 2 sorry of uh, USB so if I ask of course your headphone and your microphone this is basically the dust port coming in like I can do it with one hand and then um, try something else in a second so like I say it has that that's the look from the front 
has the pan text down at the bottom fan text and the light of course show here with rgb light which you could change with the button i just showed up top air comes in here has its own it has two air filters because intake filters dust filters one on top one at the bottom so let me see if we could get um question again there you go i took the lid off again more again sound deadening for uh, you know keeping the sound there's a top part you see the dust filter there and you have the dust filter down there you have the rgb lighting right there of course which you could change from the thing up front like i was saying go to the hidden buttons up there and you could put a three you could you could put a three um uh, three rad up in front if you take away the HH um, cage to the side right um, down there because he has um, two cages he has a bottom cage for hard, the regular old hard drive which I'm going to be using for the for the terabyte but you can put three rad in front if you want and but most people have seen done that but I'm going to put two fans up here just to pull cage going to have one up there there so that's one other thing. Let me get some more stuff off and show you. All right, this is the back panel of, of course, of it. You can see all the cables from the front I.O. comes down here. The reason I like this also, because you have the, basically, you, you got back mount for SSD, and it just did two lists, which I love that. So if you have SSD 2.5, you can put it here which I like, snapped in. Of course, you could put SSDs in, uh, you can put your hard drives in here if you're kind of those kind of game or um, school person you want to do that. Of course, the case could hold ATX board and also hold a full graphics card with three fans, those those big graphics cards, 1080 Ti and of course, in there of course. But these, these on the other side have screws, so you can pop them off, but for the brackets, you have the um, access, accessories that you gotta pay for, but is what it is. This of course is the hard cut um, drive cage which, has, which I like the whole, um, sorry, so you can see it, uh, the lights, uh, butterflies. So th this is also toolless and that's what I'm gonna use that hard, like I said, that his mass drive to put in there. I like the cable management with the Velcro straps and I like the grommets. As you can see, I like the grommets, so cable management, I'll do a good, I mean, cable management, of course, and you have a spot right, they got two hole, um, three holes right here that goes up to the motherboard, which I like, and then what comes with it is you have um, accessories, you have an RGB, you have screws, which is cool for case fans and everything, which is, you know, I like that. Some ties, which you will be using, and if, I like, you know, and of course the dust filter, because like I said, I'm taking off the, ma the magnetic up top to vent out the fan so you can make it you know, as quiet as I can and keep it from keeping it as cool as I can. Like I said, I like, I like the red and black setup. That looks so cool. And of course, the panel that's on the back, you can see again, sound dampening. Uh, all again is we're trying to make this as cool keep this PC as cool as possible as quiet as possible and this might be you can say I told the, my, the guy that this is my um <laughs> he's my guinea pig <laughs> for some of the stuff I'm going to use so, so like I said I like the, the black and back the, um and I like that it comes it's, it's screwed in it's sort of like the usual pop out um, break away but this is cool Back here, I could see it, like I say, just stamped metal, so it's a little cheap in the back. Everything else is more, but it's cool. Of course, the PSU is in the bottom, and it comes with also a dust filter. So they do everything they can to make sure your PC stays as clean as possible, which I like. And of course, the reason, like I said, I picked this up right here, it is a tempered glass panel. Now, I bought this for $80 off of Amazon, and this is pretty damn good like, like I said so my god it is we might do some um, custom for, for my for the person about that but again like all the wires like I said you see the grommets right here you could plug out and then right there oops the light oops oh, so sorry you can see this where the wires are coming through the extra ways to put it in and of course that cage right there if you're gonna use it um, you know a three fan rad you take that cage up now you'll lose the hard drive space in the bottom if you need it but you can put it there and do three like i say three rad of course across now for me if things work well with this case and how it's built and everything when it comes to build my next rig 
that's where I might use this case because I like it and personalize it myself. Uh, my next rig, of course, is gonna be a thread, uh, thread ripper. I am going, I don't know, but it's between now and two years from now, of course. And I like about the tempered glass is when you, because I've seen many people do the reviews, you, you take the screws off, the glasses will fall off. It's, it's just, it's like, there you gotta, it has like a little lip and it keeps it there still when you unscrew it. So I like that too for safety reasons. I like it. I like the glass for that. So this is the um, Fantex Eclipse 400 um, tempered glass silent edition. I like it. I got it for $84. I like it because again all the sound deadening that they they put on the to make this thing as quiet as it is. And for me, like I said, I might go with a 1950X thread ripper for my next big rig build. Um, I already priced, like I said, I already priced out the, the the parts already for my rig. Like right now, it looks like it's gonna be about $2,100 to get to have a, um, of course, the X. <clears throat> excuse me, the thread ripper. The Threadripper um, 1950X, of course, 60 gigabytes of uh, memory. Um, and I'll be honest, that's without the graphics card because I'm like I say I I'm, I might put a graphics card in and out, but that's without the graphics card because I'm doing more of music and audio engineering than anything. But if I add a graphics card, it, let's it knock it up to about $400 more, make it $2,500 if at the most. But we're gonna have that. Of course, the M, uh, the same kind of hard drive, MME drive. Then a, then a one, then a one terabyte solid slate drive. I solid slate drive. I might still do a, a mass drive, but I, again, for, in my house, I have um, what do you call it? I already have a cloud, a, t um, a two terabyte cloud um not two terabyte what i'm saying sorry a four terabyte cloud up in my house and also a eight a eight terabyte backup for that cloud in case anything ever happens so everything so i got redundant onto redundant to back things up but like i said so to my friend out there that i'm doing this for man like i said and again, this is a friend, it's not a family. I'm doing this for I'm doing this for a friend, and I'm happy. <laughs> Hope you, I'll do videos for you personally just to see how it does so you can maintain it. You, you deserve all this stuff, man. Like I said, all oh, this I got for uh, 750 after tax, close to, um, you know, close to like 850 after tax or whatever thing. As I can, so much from Amazon, so much from other places. But, Hope you enjoy the PC when it comes to you soon and everything else. So first thing I do is um, make sure the motherboard and everything works and we we'll go from there. What on that? Hope you enjoy this, homie. This is a lot of last <laughs> uh, I'm doing this because you deserve it. You work hard and I think this is the perfect gift for you for what you have done over the years. Anyway. Thanks you guys for joining this video. You didn't really had to because it was me just chit chatting and showing stuff off, really. But hope you guys have the rest a good uh, a good day. And you know what I sorry, you know what I'm saying. There's no perfect games out there. What's perfect is not perfect to me. What's perfect to me is not perfect to you. Play all games. Enjoy all games on all consoles, even PC, because it's all about gaming, guys. So just enjoy. It. Have a good night.